Welcome to another Computer Chronicles. I'm Derek Smith, your host. Spire is a company that's probably more well known in Europe and the Asian market. But that doesn't mean that it's any lesser of a company than any other. Actually, they make some pretty good stuff. Now, in the past, they have had what they called the Gemini. And so, Gemini has transformed into Eclipse. The Eclipse 4 is taking the place of the Gemini. Now, this is the X2-9862 N1-PWM. So what's the difference? Well, the Gemini used to have one of the dials, you know, that you change the RPM of the fan that was cooling the processor. Well, now that this one is PWM, it means that actually the motherboard controls the fan speed. And so you don't have to worry about manually controlling it anymore. You actually let everything get done automatically. Now this is made for the AMD processor, uh, AM2, AM3+, Plus, the FM1, and the FM2, and the FM2+. Plus. Uh, also, it's good for the 775 Intel, the 1150, 55, 56, the 1366, and the 2011. So there's pretty much not a processor out there unless you've got a really, really old one that won't fit. Uh, so let's open up the box here and let's talk about it for a minute. Now the Eclipse has aluminum heat sink with copper six millimeter pipes. Now they're not the eight millimeter pipes like um, the Be Quiet fans, but the Be Quiet fans can only handle four of those big eight millimeter heat pipes. So let's take a look. Now this is the first time I opened the box. I did take the cellophane off of it um, and peeked inside, but this is really a first unboxing and it comes with an installation manual which is also got all the parts in the back so you can kind of get oriented with how it works how it's supposed to go on and how it works with amd and with intel also it has a more in-depth installation manual that comes with it as well there are tons of hardware here and this hardware is really heavy uh it's not really like the the cheap aluminum stuff you know you pick up a whole bag and it weighs like you know like a half a gram or something this is really really heavy you know what i like about this cooler is it's a push pull it is made to be a push pull and it comes with push pull spire fans and they are extremely quiet fans. That is one of the biggest reasons that Acoustic PC, who has actually sent these to me. Now, what I like about these is they've got some really thick rubber on each uh, axis of the fan, which makes this fan uh, very, very... Um, so it makes this this fan makes vibration almost completely disappear. This is why they call it the Gemini. Now, if you can notice, see it's built into two. They're both equal parts, and the fins are not your typical aluminum, really, really easy to bend fans these things are almost feel like steel they are very strong you know another thing i like about this is the price they're not as expensive as most coolers in this range and that's one of the things that i like now i did say this was a p 
WM fan. I have to get, I always get that mixed up. And if I said it wrong, please. It's phase wave modulation. So it's PWM. Anyway, this is your phase wave modulation uh, fan connections. This goes into your motherboard and this goes to the two fans that come with the cooler. Also, it comes with mounting hardware, of course. More, uh, that's 2011 right there. And there are the fan clips here. And again, the fan clips are not those really, really, really thin um, pieces of metal. Even though this is a really, really thin piece of metal, it's very strong and sturdy. You have to really would have to see it for yourself. They are extremely sturdy. And these parts that they are are very heavy. Uh, this is a very well built cooler. And our people at Acoustic PC who sent us these, he doesn't play around with stuff that doesn't work right. He likes quality. And these are awesome, but they're also very cost effective as well. This is what I was talking about. These things are not easy to bend and break like the other, like some of the other ones that I have seen in the past. These fan holders are actually very sturdy and will do the job quite well, I'm sure. Uh, I will be doing a review on this quite soon with SFF Tech. Um, but right now we're doing Computer Chronicles and this is the open box for the Eclipse, which is the Fire Gemini. Now, look at how pretty and polished the nickel is on this. Now, it's very, very heavy. It's very thick. And like I said, there are six six millimeter uh, heat pipes that are through and through and then go up into each one of these which are separated and so it allows for the heat to be dissipated faster in this smaller environment with the fans blowing and like I said it also does a push-pull so with the push-pull uh, is already good for any cooler so you add push-pull to an awesome piece of hardware like, you know, the combination of push-pull with this particular model CPU cooler is an amazing combination. The, uh, the way it's built, the sturdiness of it, and, and with the 70 CFM that you're going to be getting out of the fans, unless you have just got absolutely dead air and no air movement whatsoever in your case this thing will definitely cool anything that you can put under it this cpu cooler has been made for every single processor out there right now by intel and amd and that says a lot of cpu coolers will tell you that it's only good for a certain wattage. They don't say any of that in this because this thing can handle it all. I would put this up against the best CPU coolers that are out there today. And the price is just really hard to beat. The fans are super cool. And that's one of the reasons why uh, Acoustic PC is selling this product is because it is quiet and he his niche market is quiet PCs and so when you match up all of this this is just win all over the place the fans are nice quiet and strong the CPU cooler is very nice it's kind of heavy six millimeter by six cooling tubes and also a nickel plated copper base plate 
which will go on top of the CPU. And it even comes with its own TIM. So your thermal interface material. So you can, uh, you can, they make sure that you are going to get a good seal, a good product, a good cool, and a nice quiet uh, air cooling experience. Um, a lot of people don't want to hear their computers and that's what acoustic PC is all about. Um, they don't want you to hear your computers either and that is their biggest niche that they have. Uh, the, uh, the wire is braided and uh, there's, there's thermal strength uh, on all of the connectors. Um, it is not loosely put on there. It's put on nice and tight. Uh, and uh, like I said, these fan holders are very strong. And once they actually go on and 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 hold the the fan in place, the fan's not going to go anywhere. These rubber grommets that are on these fans are just amazing. They are thick and it even actually gives about two or three millimeters of space between the fan because this rubber is so thick and you can hear it right there so you you don't hear the normal clang that you would normally get you see it's it's just completely um rubberized so that is really great about these fans and about this cooler. Like I said, we're going to be putting it up against the Be Quiet Rock, uh, which has got eight millimeter cooling tubes, but only four of them. This has six six millimeter cooling tubes. So we're going to see who's better. But I've got a feeling that this one is going to do awesome. Check out my next video where I test this with the rock the be quiet rock and uh and we will see who's the best of the two and uh don't be sure to tune into that but uh, this is derek smith for computer chronicles and i am also doing a shameless blurb to acoustic pc who is my friend was my friend before he was uh even we, we did even any business together we've always been friends and he really is a true honest good businessman and he's somebody good that you can trust to do business with and i can put my reputation on that uh, this is derek smith computer chronicles saying happy modding and god bless